Welcome to uh, some two down under training here, going up Corkscrew Road with Katusha. You can see all these guys running standard crank sets, so they have to grind a bit to get up here. But they're just going. We're going pretty casual. They're doing maybe something about 300 watts. Uh, you can see the rider there in the white. He's got a compact on, so his cadence is uh, a little bit easier. You can see my handlebars, the my green. That's just my hand there, about to come through. Corkscrew Road, 2.3k climb, quite steep. It's got a feature in uh, Two Down Under again. It's quite a decisive climb. Good place to spectate, and it's going to be actually on tomorrow in Australia, Thursday. So we're just ambling up the climb there. You can see, look at my cadence. So you can see my legs, I can just, I'm never bogged down. All right, I'm never bogged down. Uh, so for me, it makes sense to always have a gear where you're never getting bogged down. You're never forced into bad technique. For these pro riders, though, it's not that important because they're just they're just putting along, all right. If they're if you're going full gas, though, they're going you're going a lot faster, so your cadence is naturally going to come up. But for me, I just love having gear where I just don't have to fucking grind. So the bikes they're running is the new Canyons. Looks a pretty good, nice paint job. I'm looking pretty cool. What do you think? What do you think of the paint job? What do you think of the kit? Is it pretty basic? What do you think? Quite interesting to see Katusha go to a red kit, normally a blue and white, from memory. And you can see my front wheel there edging in. So whenever you get up the hill, always pay attention on the road. Um, you don't want to overlap the wheels too much and get taken out. But up, up, up hill riding is actually a good place to learn bunch riding, because it's pretty safe. If you crash, you're not really going to hurt yourself too much going up a hill, <laughs> unlike on the flat. But uh, so does the top of Corkshire Road. What I noticed as well about the power, the pros is they can just hold watts on when it flattens out. But these these boys just go and cash. They're talking most of the way up. Now the speed goes up, so you can see the cadence coming up as well. They're just cruising, just ambling along, just testing out new equipment. I think it had like Shimano brakes with SRAM. <laughs> They'll be correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure they're running Shimano direct mount brakes. With the group so I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen pro team at that level do something like that. Full mix match. It's good. Good to see. Sign of the times. What do you think of the, the new kit? What do you think of Corkshire Road? What do you think of anything? Let us know down below. Some more spiders in my mouth or what? And, uh, Corkshire Road. Have you done Corkshire Road? What did you think? If you're in Adelaide, you definitely have to come do Corkscrew. Everyone deserves a Corkscrew experience. It's not a hard climb. Um, you just gotta have the right gearing. Too many people run, run standard crank. If you're a professional rider, standard crank's enough. If you're uh, us me more tall, weekend warriors, then I'd recommend a compact so you enjoy it more, get better cadence. Uh, take it easy on the way down because it's pretty, uh, pretty sketchy descent. Get koalas, kangaroos, and gravel, and I'll take you out. But uh, yeah, so you see the teams riding around, let us know below what, what do you want to see next, you know? give me some ideas, I'm not sure what you want to see, you know? this, is, this is all everyday stuff for me, uh, I've ridden with probably a thousand pro riders in the last 13 years with the Tuna Under, so this is sort of everyday for me, uh, but I understand it's not everyday for many people, so what would you like to see, you know, what, what would you want to see, um, I'm not really sure, the fancy bikes are quite, right? it's really say what she wants to see in bed, it's a bit sexual. Just trying to be a cycling tips video here, not not uh, not in bed with Madonna. This is the top of Corkshire Road. This is where you can really make up a lot of time on Strava. Just hold down the watts, hold down the watts. You can really make a lot of time on Strava up here because most people want to ease off. So now look at the see the cadence is coming up. Yeah, this is this is how these guys normally ride. High cadence, high cadence, especially the guy on the left. Cadence is power, man. And uh, you watch tomorrow's stage, two under. Cunts are going to be spinning the fuck out of it up there. 39.28. They're going to be going sub sub 7 minutes tomorrow, the hitters. And they'll be 90 cadence, 90 to 100 cadence. Just full gas, full throttle. Let us know down below what you want to see in the next video. Is it top of corkscrew? We're going to wave the Katusha crew goodbye. Um, we're going to do another lap. There's Dur B Duran right there. Banana boy. See you boys? Time to go down and uh, meet Uncle Chester. There we go. Done.